In this video, we're back with our app Jog, talking about how we take it from design and some of the testing and functionality that we've had so far into creating user stories that we can use to communicate with our developers to take it to the next level. What's up guys, my name is George Brooks and I'm one of the founders here at Crema. And if you've been following our videos for a while, you might've heard of this app that we're calling Jog. Jog is just a simple app for you to manage relationships and help you to remember names and remember personal details. Today, we're picking Jog back up and we're gonna talk about how we take it from just an idea and this prototype that we're working on and start to create some structure around the planning for how we keep moving it forward. One of the things that we use is a thing called user stories. User stories allow us to basically paint a picture for what we want the app to do. We're using a new tool now called Zen Hub and that integrates with another tool we have called GitHub and I'll explain that a little bit more in a second. But this is allowing us to create a backlog of features and functionality that we want to create, put it in, and then prioritize it into what do we want to do first, what do we want to do next, and what do we want to do after that, and then the development team can pick those things off the top and start to work on them as we move forward. So I'm going to I'm going to jump over actually into Zen Hub and show you the process of writing those user stories and how we manage those through the pipe to actually get getting them built. What you see in front of you is Zen Hub. Zen Hub is a new tool that we're using here at Crema. In the past, we've used all types of things like Asana and Trello and Jira, you name it, we've tried it. Uh, Zen Hub we love because it sits right on top of GitHub and GitHub is where we manage manage the repositories of code. So this sits really close to where the actual product lives. This is the point where all these ideas about what we wanted to create with Jog come down into reality of how do we share and communicate the value across our team and the functionality that we need to build to achieve that value. You'll see here already that in the primary space, there is a number of different columns. But for today, we're gonna to really focus on how to write a new user story. Now there are three parts to a user story. There is the user itself or the definition of the person that's gonna be doing the thing. There is the functionality you want that person to do. And then there's the outcome. And honestly, we don't get too stuck in the formatting. We just wanna make sure that the team understands what do we need to build and why are we building that feature. As you can see here, I've already got 18 issues and the backlog is the primary space where we organize and prioritize the issues that we're gonna be working on. I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these issues that we're working on here, Google Authentication Account Creation. So what is that? So we get our title, we can see it's an open issue still and then I created it. It's had gone through some changes. Some people will actually write the user story straight in the title. We found that those got a little too long. So I go ahead and just title it and then give the user story down below. I'm gonna go into edit mode so we can see that a little more clear. The way that we break that down again is as a user, this is just anybody that's wanting to use the application. And even more specifically, this is a good uh, thing to catch and we would probably refine this as a team is this isn't just any user, this is a visitor, this is a new user. Um, new, even potential user. They don't even have an account yet, right? They're checking this thing out. As a new potential user, I want to create a new account through Google Auth so that I can log back in to use Jog. Now, this is all that really needs to be written, but what we'll do as a team is we'll write a few other things into the description. So we'll write something like this, where we'll go in and say, considerations. <music> And then what we would do is we would hand it over to our quality assurance specialist that would actually write through the test for that. So we wanna make sure that there's a good, well-written story. There's some considerations around that story as to what makes it important. And then there's some test cases here where we can say this is how we break it down. When we're ready to move forward, we're gonna use Zen Hub to say, what are we working on for the next two weeks? And this, what we call sprint. So we might say, you know what? I'm gonna get that Google authentication in place. I'm gonna get adding a new person in and being able to edit their information. That's quite a bit of work right there, but we would estimate it and then we'd break it down into how much we think we can accomplish in those two weeks. All right, so let's recap. We just got out of Zen Hub and Zen Hub is a place where we write user stories. As a reminder, a user story tells us who's gonna be doing the functionality, what is it that they need to do, and what's the outcome that they're gonna get out of doing that thing. Then as we package that into a small card, we can move that through different stages of project management so we know that this is something that we wanna do eventually, this is something that's been prioritized to do next, this is something that's going on right 
right now and that this is something that's done and ready to be released. As you start to jump in and look at your application or your ideas, look for a way to prioritize your backlog, keep it simple, keep it focused, and then be able to move it through being able to communicate with your team as to what comes next and what's done and what's ready for release. As always, thank you so much for watching our videos. Um, don't forget to like, uh, drop us a comment. I, I don't think we ask enough for the comments. We really want to get your feedback. Is this content that's helpful for you? How are you managing your projects? How are you getting your ideas and your apps built? And then be sure that you subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. And when you subscribe, as always, don't forget to click that little bell that actually will set a notification to remind you of the next videos. Make sure you share it with all your friends, family, coworkers, business partners. Until next time, we'll see you guys then.